What's going on, people of God? We are back in San Diego, California. It has been a while. We, uh, we've been on the road for 79 days and now we've made it back to San Diego, California and we're stoked to be back. Um, five kickstarts later, five home meetings later from coast to coast, 20 plus people got baptized over uh, over 10 15 got healed and filled the holy spirit and we saw demons coming out and it was absolutely amazing and uh, uh we had a very interesting uh encounter where uh we went from long island to white plains new york to uh, rhode island we left rhode island we went to uh uh, North Carolina and we did kickstarts in each one of these places and then we journeyed down to Florida where we did outreach many days where we saw people getting healed on the street demons coming out it was it was amazing just to be a part of the fellowships going around strengthening the the fellowships that have been created all over the US and we have traveled from coast to coast and now we're back and uh, basically we had one last kickstart in Quincy, Illinois before we came back and uh, four days before the kickstart, uh, the people, they canceled on us, uh, our venue. And it was like, well, okay, God, what are you gonna do? And the people who were hosting us, they had this super powerful testimony of God's provision and how he provides. And, and right before the kickstart, somebody opens their church to them, to us. And it was amazing. Uh, the first teaching of the kickstart is Christian versus disciple and the, the word Christians in the Bible three times but the word disciples in the Bible over 250 depending on what version you read and we saw powerful things happen there at that church that day and uh, after that meeting the the pastor he him and his wife they beelined it to the front they said Jeremy uh, we need this in our congregation we need this in our church can you can you come to our church Sunday and preach and for me that was like that was amazing. And I just thank God for everything that he's done along the way. But my question is, why did it happen? Well, it happened because we did it. The Bible is telling us to obey the commandments of Christ and his disciples taught others to do the same. And now here we are 2000 years ago, still obeying the commandments of Christ. And that's our heart, that's our goal, to see the, book, see the church come back to what we read in the Bible to change our lives to fit the Bible, to break the traditions of man and see people come back to the purity of what it is to live for God, to give him your whole heart, your everything. But here we are 79 days later, what a journey, how many miles from coast to coast. And it was amazing and we're so honored to, to have done it. And uh, my friend Kim, he, he, he is one place where we did a kickstart at Long Island and and we went there and now he is doing kickstarts himself. Now he is journeying to Israel to do a trip there. Now he's seeing uh, 20 people be baptized in one night. He's seeing people, demons coming out of healing the sick and it's all about making disciples who make other disciples. And for me, this is huge. Why? Because I came there, I did a kickstart and now he has caught that thing. He is running with it and it is amazing because it's not about one man. It's not about a one man show. It's really about the, the, the Christians, the people of God coming back to being disciples who obey the word. And that's it. And to see how Kim's life is exploding and he's seeing all these exciting things and has all these great testimonies and stories. It is amazing and I'm so honored that I was somehow a part of that. And you can be a part of that also. You can be a part of what God wants to do in other people's life. And I just want to show you a couple clips of what has happened in the last two and a half months of our life. Hey guys, so Zach just got baptized. He heard the message of the gospel, the kingdom of God, and he was ready to give his life to Jesus. It's something that he's been wanting to do for a very long time. And uh, he got baptized and you'll see this video here, but I just want him to share his experience and what was happening, it's very powerful. It feels felt like I was puking up my sin in the pool um, when I was being baptized and all my sin was being released. And then under my breath, um, I just felt my mind empty and just um, almost like tongues just under my breath being whispered. Well, and it was uh, really great. Wow. Amazing experience. Never I've been to Christian for 
my whole life, and it's the first time I've ever experienced something like that, so huge deal. Come on, man. It's amazing, man. When he told me, he felt like he was puking up his sins. That was like, I never heard that before. It was amazing. So, uh, welcome to the kingdom, Zach. Thank you. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out of him right now. Come out of him right now. Freedom. Come out of him right now. Freedom. Now, Shut now, move. Shut come out. Come out. Shut come out. Every unclean spirit, come out of him right now. Freedom. Jesus. 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 Jesus.